Hello and welcome to Aria's Planet. I'm Alicia, Aria's mom, and today I'll be introducing what I like to call Mommy Lesson Mondays. Mommy Lesson Mondays will be days that I come in and pretty much share some of my lessons or experiences that I've learned uh, being a special needs mom. The first and most important one to me was learning not to compare or care. So when I was pregnant with Aria, there were seven other moms at my job on the same floor that were pregnant at the same time. So upon returning from maternity leave, as you can imagine, the conversation would always be around the babies, what they were doing, the milestones they were making. This was very uncomfortable for me. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to steer the conversations away. So what I ended up doing is just... Um, Avoiding the conversations or not interjecting at all. Just letting them have the conversations. You know, I would laugh and listen to uh, the milestones their kids were making, but I really wouldn't give too much input about Aria. I didn't talk much about Aria at all at work because I wasn't educated. I wasn't confident. I didn't know what was going on. We didn't find out until about 14 months that Aria had cerebral palsy. So from the whole time of maybe about four months to 14 months, we had no idea uh, what the issue was. We knew she was developmentally delayed and we were going through the whole process of going to specialists and getting tests run and all that good stuff. But they hadn't coined or really been able to tell us what we can expect. Um, it pretty much was a go to go from, from day to day. Um, we didn't know what we were looking at. That was just devastating for me. You know, you don't think as a mom that one, you're going to go to the hospital and have any complications at all. And two, that not only are you going to have complications, but you know, now there's nothing that you can do. Uh, you just have to allow the specialist to run their tests or you just, you pretty much are helpless. I felt helpless. There was nothing that I can do. There was nothing that no one was able to tell me to make things be normal. There was no normal. So it took me some time, but I learned to not compare Aria to other kids. Um, at first, I was unable to attend social events or even go out in public too much because it was too emotional for me to see other kids um, doing things or meeting milestones that Aria hadn't met, and I didn't know why, and I couldn't do anything to change it. Uh, it took me some time, like I said, but getting to that point, of just accepting Aria for her, being able to connect with her um, and speak to her in her uh, language was a journey. And I think it, it helped me a lot in knowing how she likes to communicate, knowing what she likes, knowing what she doesn't like. And during this time, the lago began to spread on her skin. So by the time it spread and it was noticeable, I was already to that place where, you know what, it doesn't matter, I don't care, you know, I'm going to go out in public, we're going to go to the movies, we're going to go to the park, we're going to do everything that we normally would do, and I don't care about the looks, I don't care about the stares, and I only focused on her smile, her laugh, and her having a good time, and that's what we do every day. We just focus on Aria and her growth and her progress. That's the only thing that matters now is her progress. So that was my first mommy lesson. I hope that it helped someone that may be new to this um, way of life as well. And I hope that you all like, subscribe, and follow. And I'll see you next Monday for another lesson.